and welcome back to Let's Play Okami. And we're gonna talk to Pops here, as Beeson likes to call him. He's talking about Crimson Helm. Yes, there is no bridge. Uh, I could walk over there and show everybody, but it would be a waste of time, so we won't bother right now. Instead, we're going to visit the runes. Our first real dungeon esque sort of place, I suppose we could say. Don't. Don't draw lily pads. It's a bad suggestion. It doesn't work. And that's why the golden cat is useful. Because I didn't have to jump over there and die. But this is, here's what happens if you draw a lily pad. The water just destroys it because it's poison. So, if you want to risk losing your life, go for it. But I wouldn't suggest it. Might as well power up beads. This place is very whiny. There we go. I remember when I first played this game, I could not figure out for life of me how to get up to get this clover for the longest time, and then I one day accidentally fell from above onto this platform and I realized, you know, there's probably an easier way to do this. So, I came back down here and I discovered that, so just remember that. It'll save you a lot of trouble. <laughs> I don't think so.
Luckily we can use the light pads here. Otherwise we have some problems. This is a very winding dungeon. You can often follow paths that go along the top of previous paths. That's just silly. Now that, that looks like rock, so it's kind of funny that you don't need the upgraded digging skill to get that clover, but you can get it, so... Uh, yeah, that little icon means you can't turn the camera. It should be fairly self-explanatory, but just in case... It's pretty rare that you actually end up stuck in a position where you can't move the camera around, though. Yeah, that's not gonna work. Yeah, we can't move this. And eventually we'll be back to go up there, but that's later. So, we get introduced to a new enemy the Bud Ogre. You're not really supposed to do that. You're supposed to knock them down. Then they look like that. You open up their bud and then you can attack the insides. So I guess it's supposed to represent their heart. Uh, it's fastest to use the power slash, or you can. You can tag them with the uh, whatever weapon you're using, and I believe when they die, then you can use the floral finisher on them, which I think is the circle. Uh, can't remember for sure. Maybe. Now we can use this. So, next time on Let's Play Okami. We'll push the globe. Uh, we'll push the globe the right way. I'm Kawhi Ninja Cat. I'll see you guys next time.